Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be covering all the hand painting steps I took um, for this Ludigans from Machine and Creator. And here we're gonna start by just adding a few drops of Mr. Servicer 1500 Black. Um, and I'm using my normal propeller color black uh, dish and I'll add a few drops of thinner into that, get it all off the stir. Um, I'll add a few more drops into it and a little bit of uh, Mr. Uh, Retarder as well. All right, and then we're gonna be taking our big filbert brush and we're gonna just start on the middle thruster section. Um, I'm applying the primer coat in a slightly thicker application. Um, all the other colors I'm going to be using are going to be on the thinner side, uh, so that'll help kind of smooth any um, imperfections in the paint when you kind of glaze additional lacquers over. Um, and we'll just keep adding a little bit of thinner as we go. Um, and as you can see down to the right that blue brush that's also just a pointy brush I keep on the side um, just to get into some of the crevices and uh, hard to reach areas that the filbert just can't get into i um, gonna come around now onto the engine sections and get all that these were kind of the parts I spent the most time on um, just because there's a lot of details stuff like that to kind of make sure you get coverage in make sure it's not clogging all that kind of stuff um, add a little extra thinner um, yeah and we'll go ahead and just continue doing this throughout the whole rest of the model and we'll go from there And as we come onto the legs, I start um, actually applying the paint slightly uh, thinner around here. Um, I want the legs to probably receive the most amount of wear when we start getting to the weathering. Um, so I kind of try to, yeah, just leave this a little bit more on the thin side. And then borrowing a technique I saw Lincoln Wright do on his uh, Desert Pink Nise build, um, Mr. Color 7 Brown. We're gonna just add a little bit of that into the black primer dish and we'll start kind of sloppily adding this color around. This is the part where we're just trying to get colors onto the model, just trying to get like something started basically. And our final undercoat color is going to be Char's Pink. Um, I'm going to add this into the same dish that we've been using since the beginning of the model. 
um, looking back, probably could have avoided doing this. This seems almost somewhat like an unnecessary step, but in my head, I was thinking, okay, this will help fade that uh, red color a little bit more, kind of help with the weathering, something for it to play with. Um, looking back now, not sure if that actually happened or worked out as I thought it would, but yeah, it was a fun experiment regardless. Here we are, finally, Mr. Color RLM23 Red. Um, I'm gonna be adding this into the same dish that we've been using this whole time. Um, and in between, I have been wiping away some of the colors, but leaving a little bit of excess in the dish as well. Um, I'll thin this down, um, not too, too much, since red isn't that powerful um, of a color. Uh, and I'll also, I also added um, a couple drops of Mr. Retarder as well. Um, switching down to my uh, Godhand Filbert brush. Um, this is pretty much the brush that I'll be using on the rest of the model. And I'll just be kind of doing little brush strokes randomly throughout, trying to get some of those, uh, that brown, Char's pink to start mixing a little bit and get a somewhat pre-weathered um, finish in the model. When you kind of look at the paint, uh, you'll be able to see like the modeling effects. You'll be able to see kind of like the different tones mixing together. Um, I am definitely no expert at this. <laughs> um, I'm still learning, I'm still trying to improve, but um, yeah. All you have to do is experiments and have fun with it.
and coming in just a little bit closer um, just so you can hopefully kind of see how the colors behave work together um, as you work the brush around reactivating some of the under layers um, and you can kind of see it's starting to brighten up just a little bit with that red but still slightly faded um, it's one of the reasons I love RLM 23 red um, it's not a very hot bright red it's very uh, faded as is and so with these other colors it just helps like fade it even more um, and give it just a lot more of a light kind of tone I guess And I was a little bit stuck for a moment um, trying to think of what the background details should be colored in uh, until I remembered uh, Mr. Color, Cow and Color. Um, it's a really awesome, pretty, dark blue-black color. Um, and I think was a good choice to help kind of contrast between the hot redness of the uh, Luna Gans itself with the background details. And now we're going to be getting to the uh, fun part. So I added a little bit of um, Gaia Notes Flat Black uh, into the bottom side of the dish. And I'm going to take my Tamiya medium size flat brush and just sort of do these little inconsistent, uh, blotchy little black spots all over. Um, for the last few weeks, I've been looking at a lot of different... Um, 
red, black, white kind of combined uh, things. Um, the two that I ultimately got the most inspiration from were uh, ladybugs and also poison dart frogs. Um, so I decided to kind of use those two as my main uh, my main inspiration for these colors. Um, and I'll kind of just go around, add a little dot here and there, uh, not really any consistency. Um, later on, I start adding more and more and more and more, um, but I kind of just restrain myself in the beginning, just get a few little on, um, especially around the top of the head, that was like the main part, and I thought I would have just stopped there with black dots but it it just needed a lot more uh breaking up since it is kind of a solid colored uh walker i think adding these few little like breakups definitely help a lot and especially once we start getting to the weathering and washes and fading with oils and stuff <clears throat> it'll really uh hopefully just blend blend all together And now I'm going to be using cold white from Vallejo and I just added a couple of drops of their thinner medium and two coats uh, over these like armor sections and the uh, eye I guess you could say of the guns.
all right guys well thanks for watching uh thanks for hanging out stopping by and hopefully you took something from my rambling um i'm gonna try upload a few more videos um around the guns um so yeah join me in the next ones